Now you will find out about the incoming meteor showers, planetary alignments, and a rare lunar eclipse that will take place in May 2023. I promise, will be very interesting. May starts with a unique astronomical event, the deepest penumbra lunar eclipse until the year 2042. This eclipse is called a penumbral one because the moon will be covered only by the outer layer of Earth's shadow, which will make it appear just a little darker than usual. Most likely you won't even need a telescope to see it, but you can always watch my video right here where I covered this astronomical event in detail. Right after the eclipse, you'll see the peak of the Eta Ocaritz meteor shower, which will produce from 10 to 30 meteors during the peak. The shower takes place annually from April 19th till about the end of May. Although the full moon may make it challenging to see, it's still worth observing this spectacular phenomenon. On May 13th, the moon and Saturn will come together in conjunction, appearing very close to each other in the night sky. The stunning celestial event will be visible in the southeastern part of the sky a few hours before sunrise and will only be separated by 3 degrees. Another breaking side is the Earth shine, which will occur on May 15th, 16th and 21st, just before sunrise and after sunset. This glow is a phenomenon when a part of the moon that isn't illuminated by the sun has a quite distinguishable glow. This glow is actually created by the sunlight reflected off the Earth's surface. Imagine how the moon shines brightly in our sky, so the Earth shine is basically the same thing but on the moon. Several days later, inhabitants of these regions will see the moon covering Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. This event will be visible right before sunrise in some regions or after the sun starts shining in the sky in other regions. I recommend you download Stellarium, a free night sky map, where you can see if this event is visible in your area. Ah, oh, the new moon. The time when our natural satellite isn't shining brightly in the sky so that it's easy for all of us to see the deep sky objects. Well, unless you live somewhere here, where it's already hard to see any galaxies or nebulas at all. In any case, take this chance to observe your favorite deep sky objects. May 23rd and May 24th will reveal several conjunctions, the conjunction of the Moon, Venus and Mars. This interesting triangle will be visible above the western part of the sky, so you should take advantage of this opportunity to observe two planets and the Moon at the same time. That'll be a pretty spectacular view. On May 29th, Mercury will reach its greatest western elongation. It means that it'll be at its highest point above the horizon, so this will be the best time to see it. Alright, but what about the visibility of the planets in May of 2023? Throughout the month, all the planets but Uranus will be visible in the night sky. For starters, you can witness Mercury rise higher and higher until its greatest western elongation at the end of May. Venus, along with Mars, will be shining brightly above the western part of the sky right after the sunset. It'll be quite easy to find this magnificent pair, since Venus is literally the brightest star that you can see in the night sky. Although fairly low in the sky, Jupiter is day by day getting higher above the eastern part of the horizon. If you want to capture this enormous planet, wait until one hour before sunrise. While you're waiting for Jupiter to rise, turn your head to Saturn, which will be visible after midnight quite high above the southeastern horizon. Although Neptune requires a telescope to be visible, it'll also be above the eastern southeastern sky after midnight. Now, what about the deep sky objects? If you happen to live in the northern hemisphere, you should try capturing two fairly bright galaxies and a very vivid globular cluster. In order to find these objects in the sky, I once again recommend you download the sky map called Stellarium. Link in the description. Of course, they won't look as magnificent as in these pictures, and most likely you'll see something like that, but hey, these are objects located millions of light years away from us. Isn't that cool? Finally, people living in the southern hemisphere can also enjoy the Sombrero Galaxy and an open star cluster in the constellation Centaurus. If you manage to take pictures of these celestial objects, feel free to share them on our Discord group. Anyway, May 2023 promises to be a month filled with exciting celestial events that you won't want to miss. 
Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more fascinating videos about astronomy and space. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.